what your thoughts? Um, a one-one draw. You've come here obviously with an objective to at least leave the Netherlands with something. But how do you reflect on the appointment? Yeah, we knew that it's going to be a tight game. We knew it's a, it's a tough opponent. That especially at home they're playing some some very good stuff and very confident on the ball. Technically very, very well um, and and well organized. And so what we take is the result of 1-1. Uh, we know that if you want to compete in the in, in the Champions League, you need to win your home games. Now we are in a situation in three weeks' time, we have the opportunity with a home win to go to and proceed to the next round. And this is uh, our main target. Technically, it's only half time of the tie. And when you look at the overall fixture, what did you learn about your opponent today that you can take as positives for you guys to build in the second leg? So basically they played like we expected and in the first half we we um, managed to get into spaces of what they don't like. In the second half they adapt a bit and they didn't press as aggressive like they did in the first half. They gave us more spaces to play through the through the middle, through the center. And this is something that we didn't manage to um, to use too much, too too often. And yeah, we knew that they have, especially up front, a big, big skillful power. Um, but in the end, uh, we also had uh, many, many opportunities when we stole balls, when we won balls to, to get them on counter-attacks. But then we've been very sloppy and then they counter our counter attack this is something that we need to improve for, for for the second leg and if we do that we have a big big chance and a big opportunity to proceed to the next round do you see the massive difference in your team especially since the winter break the confidence and the momentum that you guys seem to be building at this moment ah oh, still this is the big, biggest question mark that we have in dortmund and, and over our club that we need the kind of consistency uh, we know that we are capable to play good stuff and again we scored uh, a, a good goal from, through pressing uh, we had some great movements in, in ball possession switching sides this is something that we we are managing quite well but it's too few too few actions and we need more of that we know uh, what we have to do and we know that we need to repeat it more often Finally, I just want to ask you about naturally being a UK broadcaster. We're always interested in UK talent that you have. You have Jamie Bano Gittins, who's doing great things here. Jaden Sancho got the start today. What are you seeing in terms of his building blocks as he continues to integrate himself in your first team? So it's a pleasure to have such a talent in our squad. And, and it's Jamie, Jamie is an outstanding uh, talent, and he, he has so much more to achieve and so much more to come in his career. And, and he's on a good way. And, and if he make progressions, what we expect, he's going to be a, a very, very important player for us. Um, not only in, in this season, also in the future. With Jaden, it's always good to have him around um, in, inside inside the, the team, inside the group, and also inside the squad on a match day, because you know that Jaden is capable to make special things happen. Um, he didn't have his best performance like we all uh, today, and he knows that he he is able to play better better football than today. And this is what we what we're going to work on to to get him back on on this level every three days uh, when needed, but he's full of joy. He's, 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 we are really happy and pleased that he's around.